Greetings. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinter Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the Dream Realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. Know this, Apprentice. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty. You will die. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready.
someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. It's fuzzy, that time before. They wake you up in the middle of the night and drag you to the harrowing chamber. And then... The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. There's something here, contained. Just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. A question for those in the tower. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to ask. Maybe someday, so will I. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see, I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. The dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. That is where the test will take place. The creature can be anywhere, but it manifests there. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Indeed. The choice and the fault lies with the mages who sent you here. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. I am Valor, a warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. Is that what your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. I do know that a demon has been called, and told that a meal awaits. It will not, cannot, leave, until one of you is dead. They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot, must lead such hollow, empty lives. Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree. To duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. How dare you accuse me? 
I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Go. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Mm. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Help you? <laughs> Nothing can help you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. I am a spirit of sloth. Yes, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. You are aware, a mortal with power and will, the sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes, live inside your form. But I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. <laughs> As you mortals might term it. But not all demons are demons. Worry about the one hunting you. You have a very nice staff. Why would you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean, teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I, I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? It's true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. 
if you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? <laughs> Correct. Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? trying. Uh, the answer is a tongue. Time to feast. What a delight. Stand still, Will. This exertion. I will teach the mouse to be the bear, if only to get rid of you. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then, and uh, defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. Mm. I've taught the mouse. Do not assist in bothering me. I'm tired. So it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. They are welcome to try. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, 
Now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. What? They were not as promising as you. It was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember their names. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, and the Templars killing me, like they tried with you. You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. What? What are you... Of course it was. What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions. Careless trust. I... Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Are you all right? Say something, please. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? There must be something more, or they'd tell the apprentices what's involved. I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint, and I'll stop asking, I promise. Really? That's it? That makes sense. They want to see if you can resist the demon and stop yourself from becoming an abomination. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. The Tranquil never go through a harrowing. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. You've seen the Tranquil around the tower, like a Wayne who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. He's been made tranquil. I don't know how they do it exactly, but you're cut off from the Fade. It takes away your magic abilities, along with your dreams and emotions. Apprentices can ask to be made tranquil if they fear the harrowing, but the Circle also forces tranquility on those they feel are weak, and sometimes they force it upon apprentices they think might be too dangerous as mages. 
Uh, I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Did you hear anything? Is she all right? Is she awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He says she's very talented and very brave. Well, he would, wouldn't he? I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes. Like Wendell was. He'd throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. Jowan's been acting weird all day. Have you seen him? Very well. Someone's always watching. I swear it's like the walls have eyes. Shh. Talk to Bran. He's the chatty one. Yes, is there something you need? Yes, it is. Do you need something, or are you just here to state the obvious? <laughs> the Night Commander would have my head if I did that. Besides, I hear it takes no less than four grown men to open this door. No, you may not. I'm surprised you ask. I would have thought you'd be used to this idea by now. Only mages on official circle business are allowed to leave the tower. And the first enchanter has not informed us of any mages leaving the tower today. The only safe one, as far as I know. There are windows on the higher levels, but surely you don't need me to warn you of the dangers of leaping from them. It never ends well. For Elden, it's not very interesting. Mostly farms, the occasional river. Make a smile fortune on you. Congratulations on your test. I wonder when I'll get to go for my harrowing. Did you hear? How does it feel? I to wish be I could be the harrowing. tower once in a while. My mentor says I have great potential. Demon. That's what I hear anyway. I shall do it. You must control the fire with your will. Keep the flames steady. We're all really happy for you. don't want it sputtering you. and leaping about. 
That's what causes most of the injuries. Injuries? But... but... Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will... No, no, no. Breathe. You know, in my experience, Flint and Tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. Ah, oh, congratulations on your harrowing. I've only burnt myself once today. I think that's progress. Do you remember what the Chantry says about magic? Magic must serve man, and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Only boys can do magic. Hey! No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to help people, but we can't use our magic to... to force people to do what we want. That's right. We should not abuse the gift the Maker has given us. I can't wait to learn the fire spells. It looks like fun. Does your mentor give you lots of homework too? I heard the Templars talking about chasing down a Malefica yesterday. I heard your harrowing went well. That's wonderful to hear. Gerda told me the Templars watch us while we bathe. I hope that's not true. Concentrate, hook the shield. <gasps> if I had put all my power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. Should you face a demon with your will wavering so, it would consume you. Is that what you want? <laughs> no. Then stand firm and know you can resist whatever I throw at you. Again. I'm terrible at spells. You're lucky you're so talented. How does it feel to be done with the harrowing? Jowan's been acting weird all day. Have you seen him? I heard Irving wants to see you. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? The stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? I voluntarily submitted to the Rite of Tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. Tranquility has its merits. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. My body is similar in form to yours, possessing an equal number of limbs, appendages, and internal organs. I perform the same physical functions. My mind is capable of higher thought processes. Am I to be denied personhood because I do not feel as you do? People feel things to different degrees. One individual may be more empathetic than the next. Some are quick to anger, while others are not. Yet you would not single one out and accuse him of not being a person. My capacity to feel differs from yours, but you also differ from all other beings. You are no more a person than others, and I am no less a person than you are. I propose we agree to disagree. Personhood is not measurable. Therefore, we should let this rest. It is difficult to describe. I would perhaps compare it to being plunged into a pool of ice-cold water. I was ordered to never speak of it. 
I cannot go against the Circle's wishes. Very well. Goodbye. Is there something you need? You must speak to Owen. Good day to you. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. Blessed is the prophetess, purified by flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. Oh, I didn't see you there. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. Oh, all right then. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. Very well. I'd avoid Leora if I were you. She's been rather testy lately. Senior Enchanter, Leora, over there. Ah, it's great to see you. It's always sad when an apprentice fails the harrowing. This is infuriating. Another batch destroyed. Say, have you seen Owain? Is he in the stockroom? Oh, excellent. He wasn't there last I looked. I hope he still has some cinnabar lying around. When I asked last week, he said he was running out. Did you see that Grey Warden? I hear he's trying to recruit a mage for his order. As you say. Oh, um, uh, hello. I, uh, I'm glad to see your harrowing went smoothly. They picked me as the Templar to strike the killing blow if... if you became an abomination. It's nothing personal, I swear. I, uh... I, I'm just glad you're all right, you know? Maybe some, but not me. It's my duty to hunt down apostate mages, but... I do so with a heavy heart. Oh, you're not distracting. I mean, you are, but, well, you're not. I mean, you can talk to me anytime, if you want. Uh, uh, yes. Maybe we can talk another time.
Ah, there you are. You are to be moved out of the apprentice's dormitory, and these are to be your new quarters. The Tranquil will move your belongings this afternoon. Go on, make yourself comfortable. Everyone's so happy for you. Hmm. I never thought you'd survive the harrowing. You got lucky, didn't you? Oh, excuse me. I didn't hear you come in. I'm sorry, I'm terribly busy right now. I have to prepare the room before the Grey Warden is done at his meeting with Irving. They are an order of brave and noble warriors, sworn to give their lives to defeat the Darkspawn. You know, I almost became a Grey Warden once. There were several of us chosen, though the Grey Wardens only wanted one recruit. Uh, they only ever have one mage, you see. I think they thought I was the best candidate, but I was young and foolish, and I said I wasn't interested. They picked someone else instead, and that was that. I've regretted it ever since. How well, I should get back to my work. I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torren. It is begun. Hello. Congratulations on your harrowing last night. Good work. Oh, the Fraternities of the Enchanters. You probably haven't heard of them. It's best not to get tangled up in circle politics. More trouble than it's worth, really. Mm. Uh, oh, they're found in all circles throughout Thedas. Groups of Enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all mages should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, the loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want to make money. And the isolationists would like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then of course there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the circle, more autonomy. Well, if I had to, I'd say I was an Equitarian, but I ducked out of the fray a long time ago. Most of the senior enchanters are Equitarians. Irving, Wynne, Sweeney. Ulred's a Libertarian, and a loud one at that. Ah, mages have enough opposition from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? An idealist, I see. Well... If you're going to change the world, you should get started immediately. Lots of world to cover. Hello. Were you looking for something? I'm Njal, a mage just like you. I've seen you around, haven't I? I must have. Oh, the fraternities. Groups of mages with a common agenda. <sighs> I think we should all be isolationists. Stay in some remote mountain town far away from the mundanes who hate us. I'd go hide alone in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. Romantic, isn't it? If you leave the circle, you become an apostate. And the punishment for leaving is death. Pretty grim, huh? 
I've heard of hedge witches who've managed to survive on their own, eluding the circle for a lifetime. But if the Templars discover them, well, you know what happens. Then there are stories about the Dalish elf clans having great magic. But who knows what's truth and what's fiction when it comes to the Dalish? All right, have a good day. Do you need something? If not, step back. You're in my light. I'm trying to study. Have some consideration for a fellow mage. Good day. It is begun. I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the circle? <laughs> I'm sorry. There are so many of you and I get confused. Not to mention these old eyes are starting to go. You're too kind. I'm old and about to fall apart. Nothing in the world can fix that. Not any magic I'd be caught doing. Anyway, did you need something? I'm not good at talking. Too much chatter makes my head throb. Don't you have lessons to get to? Shoo! Move along now. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision? where they can actually use their maker-given powers. How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ah, if it isn't our new sister in the circle. Come, child. This is? Yes, this is she. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. The Darkspawn threat grows in the south. We need all the help we can get. They are twisted monsters that dwell underground where the sun's light cannot touch them. They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry, the poor girl, with talk of blights and Darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of Magi. 
You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the rite. Now then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Thank you for walking with me. I'm glad for the company. Yes? What about? A horde has formed within the Korkari wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an archdemon is leading the horde.
Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but Archdemons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. Yes, perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. It is not my place to comment. Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, one way or another. My opinions end there. Yes, let's. Yes, shouldn't we move along? Yes, what about? A horde has formed within the Korkari wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an Archdemon is leading the Horde. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. They usually move around in small groups, but there are always more of them, lurking underground, biding their time. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. Avoiding a problem does not make it disappear. The Dark Spawn are a real threat we cannot ignore. But standing around talking solves nothing. Let us go. Thank you for escorting me. Is there something else I can do for you? Ah, I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the Darkspawn incursion. When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Caelan's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. I don't know. Do you? Then perhaps I shall speak to Irving about this later. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. <laughs> you are too kind. Certainly. I am intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. Our duty is to battle Darkspawn wherever they appear. We are elves, humans, and dwarves united by this common purpose. Of course, don't let me keep you. 
I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Shh! I just want to make sure we're not overheard. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. We should be safe here. Not a priest. I am merely an initiate. I often attend to my duties in this chapel. Perhaps that is why I seem familiar. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. I was afraid to tell anyone. Lily was becoming a Chantry priest. She's taken vows. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk, breathing and existing, but not truly living. I saw the document on Grego's table. It authorized the right on Jowin, and Irving had signed it. There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. Of course not, but it's not safe here for me anymore. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. If we tell anyone, Lily will be punished. If you care about what happens to me, help us! The joy of helping a friend? The satisfaction of knowing you've prevented a gross injustice? The repository holds more than phylacteries. Join us, and the artifacts will be yours for the taking. Aren't you sick and tired of the circle running your life? You could get out of here with us. You'll be out of here and gone before they can even dispatch a messenger to the city. You're talented and clever. You could take your phylactery back from your hunters if you wish. You have so much power. Once you're free, they wouldn't be able to stop you. Thank you. We will never forget this. I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom, but a Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. I trust you saw Duncan back to his quarters? I'm glad you met him. He's a most honorable man.
Certainly. What is on your mind? I've removed them from the library. I was advised it might be unwise to leave them where any apprentice may read them. They will be put away somewhere very safe. Now, is there anything else? When he is ready. And how does he know this? I suppose the young initiate he dallies about with revealed it to him. You think I didn't know? I did not become first enchanter by keeping my eyes and ears shut. Gregor says he has proof, and eyewitness testimony, that Jowen has been practicing blood magic. I cannot say more. Were it left to me, things might be different. But the Chantry... I'm sorry, child. This rite of tranquility will happen. Oh, interesting. What more do you know? Your loyalty to the Circle is obvious. Tell me what you know, and your candor will not be forgotten. Yes, she must be helping him. She would know more about the repository than he would. Do you know anything else? I suspected Lily would tell him of the impending rite if she found out, but I never expected they would have the gall to break into the repository. Reporting him to Gregor and the Templars will accomplish nothing beyond what's already planned. If the Circle must punish one of its own, I will see the Chantry done the same courtesy. Lily will not walk free while my apprentice suffers. She is also breaking every vow she ever took. If we mention her involvement, the Chantry will say that she was framed. No, she must be caught in the act. If you want to survive, you must learn the rules and realize that sometimes sacrifices are necessary. Jowen will become tranquil, but Lily must also face the consequences of her actions. How did you learn of their plan? Do they trust you? Perfect. Will you return to them and carry out their scheme? With solid proof of their crime, we can act. No charge from me is beyond your duty to this circle, mage. You must obey this order. Go. Convince them you will risk all for their cause. I will be outside the repository with a contingent of Templars. Let them see the mischief into which their initiate led our student. Perform well, and your dedication will be rewarded. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Rods of fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? Here is the form, Request for Rod of Fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. 
I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. Thank you. Yes? Senior Enchanter, Leora, in charge of the Circle's laboratory. Is there something you want? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Yes, but I... I am in the midst of stock-taking, checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. Because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves, and I, uh... Ugh. Look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. Hmm, you need a rod of fire. Interesting. Well, your proposal sounds fair. Clear out the storerooms and I will sign your form. Wonderful. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. As you say.
it is begun. It shall be. You're back! Are the spiders gone? Oh, wonderful! You're a lifesaver! Now, where was that form you wanted me to sign? Right. There you go. How's that? It was a pleasure. You'll go far in the circle, I bet. Welcome to the Circle stockroom of magical items. My name is O. Everything looks to be in order. Here is the rod you requested. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. That was quick! To the repository, then. Freedom of weights. Chantry calls this entrance the Victim's Door. It is built of 277 planks, one for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. 
Initiates must learn the Circle's history if they are to work with Templars and Mages. The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a Mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password which primes the ward, and the Mage touches it with mana to release it. The ward only responds to the touch of one who has been through the harrowing. Yes, I got it from a Templar who recently accompanied a mage into the vault. We have chatted on many occasions. I believe he trusts me. First the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fade. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry! Do you have the rod with you? Melt the locks off! What's the matter? Why isn't it working? Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. I don't know. Do you think it's another way in? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? We can't get into the chamber the way we planned, but we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. Yes, let's hope they haven't warded that door as well. Let's hurry, we've wasted enough time. I'm not giving up, we've come too far. As you say, we must not exhaust our supplies.
I shall do it. approaching. shall be done. I shall do it. another way into the phylactery chamber. Let's explore the repository. It shall be done. Very well. There's something odd about that statue. Greetings. Make us breath! Did he just say something? I am the essence and spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and advisor to Archon Valerius. Prophecy my crime, cursed to stone for foretelling the fall of my lord's house. I'm not sure. The Archons were the lords of the Imperium. Forever shall you stand on the threshold of my proud fortress, he said, and tell your lies to all who pass. But my lord found death at the hands of his enemies, and his once proud fortress crumbled to dust, as I foretold. A Deventer statue! Don't listen to it! The Deventer Lords dabbled in many forbidden arts. This is a wicked thing. It must have been here for years. Look at the dust. I feel a little sorry for it. Uh, her. Weep not for me, child. Stone they made me, and stone I am. Eternal and unfeeling. And I shall endure till the Maker returns to light their fires again. Ambiguous rubbish, it could mean anything. I can do it too. The sun grows dark, but lo, here comes the dawn. Stop talking to it, please, both of you. Come on, Jowen, let's go. Wow, that old wall's about to come down any moment. I think the phylactery chamber is on the other side of the wall behind this bookcase. We should be able to find something that can knock some of the bricks loose. 
If we work together, we can shift it. Come on. Now we just need to find a way to get through this wall. It is begun. Use this with the rod. I'm sure it'll work. Hurry, the clock's ticking. This is the phylactery chamber. It we must find Jowen's phylactery, quickly. Would you destroy yours too if it were here? You still can. I don't think they'd be able to catch you once you're out of here. You'd know how to evade them. You're clever, not like me. Let's just find my phylactery. More enemies ahead! Begun. That's my phylactery! You found it! I can't believe this tiny vial stands between me and freedom. So fragile. So easy just to be rid of it. To end its hold over me. And I am free. Only apprentice phylacteries are stored in a circle tower. This tiny room could not hold the phylacteries of every mage who has passed through the tower doors. Come on, you two. We're done here and we should leave. I do not want to stay here a moment longer. Believe it. Thank you. We could never have. So what you said was true. An initiate conspiring with a blood mage. I'm disappointed, Lily. She seems shocked, but fully in control of her own mind. Not a thrall of the blood mage, then. You were right, Ed. The initiate has betrayed us. Chantry will not let this go unpunished. And this one. Newly a mage and already flouting the rules of the circle. It's not her fault. This was my idea. She is here under my orders, Gregor. I take full responsibility for her actions. Wait, you... You led us into a trap? Don't you dare speak to me! Enough! As Knight Commander of the Templars here assembled, I sentence this blood mage to death. And this initiate has scorned the Chantry and her vows. Take her to Aenar. The... the mage's prison? No. Please, no. Not there! No! I won't let you touch her! The Maker, blood magic. How could you? You said you never. I, admit, I, I dabbled. I thought it would make me a better mage. Blood magic is evil, Jowen. It corrupts people, changes them. I'm going to give it up. All magic. I just want to be with you, Lily. Please come with me. I trusted you. I 
was ready to sacrifice everything for you. I don't know who you are, Blood Mage. Stay away from me. Are you all right? Where's Gregor? I knew it. Blood magic. But to overcome so many, I never thought him capable of such power. None of us expected this. Are you all right, Gregor? As good as can be expected given the circumstances. If you had let me act sooner, this would not have happened. Now we have a blood mage on the loose and no way to track him down. Where is the girl? I... I am here, sir. You helped a blood mage. Look at all he's hurt. Save your breath. I can speak for myself. Knight Commander, I... I was wrong. I was accomplice to a... a blood mage. I will accept whatever punishment you see fit. Even... even Aenar. Get her out of my sight! And you... you were in a repository full of magics that are locked away for a reason. Did you take anything important from the repository? Very well. I believe you. But your antics have made a mockery of this circle! What are we to do with you? As I said, she was working under my orders. And this improves the situation? The phylactery chamber is forbidden to all save you and me! I had my reasons. You're not all-knowing, Irving. You don't know how much influence the Blood Mage might have had. How are we to deal with this? Knight Commander, if I may, I'm not only looking for mages to join the King's army, I'm also recruiting for the Grey Wardens. Irving spoke highly of this mage, and I would like her to join the Warden ranks. What? You've promised him a new Grey Warden? She has served the Circle well. She would make an excellent Grey Warden. We look for dedication in our recruits. Fighting the Darkspawn requires such dedication often at the expense of all else. I object. You say she operated under your instructions, Irving. But I do not trust her. I must investigate this issue, and I will not release this mage to the Grey Warden. Gregor, mages are needed. This mage is needed. Worse things plague this world than blood mages. You know that. I take this young mage under my wing and bear all responsibility for her actions. This mage does not deserve a place in the Order. Why? Do we not reward service? This mage has served the Circle well. You have an opportunity few even dream of. Do not squander it. Yes. Be proud, child. You are luckier than you know. You will have ample opportunity to hone your skills, I assure you. Come. Your new life awaits. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? 
Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I understand you hail from a circle of Magi. I trust you have some spells to help us in the coming battle. Excellent. We have too few mages here. Another is always welcome. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. So some believe, but I disagree. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feelings. Absolutely. We sent a call to the Grey Wardens of Orlais, and hope they will reach us before the Arch Demon does. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. <laughs>